Hi, this is Luke Raymond from Inaxis Security Systems. Today we're going to be talking to you about a specific application on the Ajax app. Inaxis Security Systems is the first official distributor of Ajax alarm systems here in Canada. And today we're going to be covering a very popular item which is part of the actual app and can be changed as, on the app as you go. To start with, the Ajax system itself has 25 partitions and 200 zones of alarm. Being such a large system, you can actually assign individual zones to individual partitions. And in the app itself, you can customize the look of the, each, in, each one of these uh, individual partitions with your own image or a stock image, something from your cameras. And we're actually going to show you how to do that. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to show you how the Ajax app works. So to start with, on my phone itself, I'm actually going to open up the Ajax app. The Ajax app is designed to be very aesthetically pleasing. When you first create an Ajax app and when you first put a panel online, it actually shows up in the controls section with just what looks like one of their space controls. So the space control is all well and good. You can arm and disarm the system either completely or partially. You can create a panic button if you want. You can do all these things from this, but it's way more aesthetically pleasing. It looks a lot better when you actually change this. Um, furthermore, when you're actually uh, not just changing the look of it, but changing the ability to arm or disarm partially by changing the look, and how you do this is actually adding uh, groups to the panel. So here's what we do. You go into the devices section of the app. The devices section is right here. Once you go into the devices section, all of the items, the, all of the peripherals, all of the alarm devices, uh, whether they're motion cams or contacts or anything, they're going to appear here and you can actually go and tweak the individual controls of each individual device. What we're going to do though is we're going to go to the actual panel itself that I've named Demo Luke. When I click on Demo Luke, I have a rundown of all the basics of the panel. You know, whether it's connected via Wi-Fi, whether it's connected via a physical thing, whether the lid is open or not, the, co the power of the battery currently at 100% charge. But up in the right hand corner, there's a little gear. When you click on the gear section, you actually go into the gear information and the individual programming information of this hub that we're talking about. So in order to assign uh, individual devices to specific partitions and to change the look to a, a better looking style, you go down to groups. Groups is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth item here. It's called groups. So when I click on groups, I have to activate group mode. By clicking activate group mode, any groupings, any partitions that I've named as a group and any uh, will appear here. Now, I have to obviously go into this individual partition and assign devices to it. So I can assign them, I can take them off, I can assign users to this individual partition, take them off of this partition. And as I create more partitions, I can assign individual devices or users to them as well. How we do this is very, very simple. When I want to add a group, I simply click the add a group item. By adding a group, I can name it whatever I want. In this case, I'm going to name this the Playroom. Once I've named it Playroom, I can add a photo to it and select it from my camera or take it directly from the gallery. So here I've actually gone into the camera itself and I can take a picture of whatever I want, or I can simply go in and say select from the gallery. When I go in and select from the gallery, I can take a picture, such as my children playing, choose this, and save it. Now I've created a second partition that looks like Playroom. So if you remember, when we started this, we went back, back, and when we went to the con controls section, it looked like a space control. Now that I've activated and have created multiple partitions, when I go into control, I now have the individual partitions that I've assigned to this panel, and I can arm them or disarm them independently one from the other simply by clicking on either Playroom to disarm or arm it individually, Home Office to disarm it or arm it individually, or I can arm globally by clicking the arm button and arm both partitions at the same time, or disarm them at the same time. Furthermore, I can choose an individual one and click on night mode. Night mode is to arm the, partial, the system partially only. Uh, usually you do this at night and what is going to happen is it's going to arm the peripheral of your system as in the contacts that lead to the outside, but it's not going to arm the motion detectors inside so that you can still walk around at night. And I can click on disarm as well. 
That is exactly how you create multiple uh, different uh, partitions. You can go in and assign individual devices to them. You can take whatever picture you want and have it look whatever way you want. Uh, this is a very popular function and customers really like it because you can customize the look of it to look like your actual house. For example, taking a picture of your garage if you want to have the garage, taking a picture of your you know, shed in the back if you want your shed in the back, or your actual alarm system which as you can see, I've used the Inaxis logo. As you can see, really, really, really easy to do this. Uh, customize the app to your net liking, whether it's for your home or your business. Inaxis is a very large distributor. We have a specific expertise in residential and commercial, and we're more than happy and able to help you design any project you happen to have. Tons of inventory out here. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, leave any comments uh, you have in, in the comments section below. Cheers.